Hello, friends. You're looking live at beautiful St. Peter Arlington Heights Gymnasium here in Arlington Heights, Illinois, for the 2022 Illinois Grade School State Basketball Tournament. My name is Ryan Roth. I'll be doing your play by play today along with my esteemed colleague, Peter Roth. Peter, it is good to be back. After a long two year hiatus, right? I have to 100% agree with you. It's great to be here. You know, we were, we were just talking on our drive up, and it was, uh, again, two years ago where we're, we're strolling in to, uh, to announce some games, and you had that, you know, little uh, what to do with COVID, and we lose last year, but we're back with a vengeance, and we're, we've got some great basketball games today, Peter. Um, starting off with the fifth and sixth grade battle between the Angels from Chicago Holy Family and the Titans from Nashville Oakville. Yeah, uh, great way to start off the championship Sunday on the boys' side here with the fifth place game uh, between two teams who have seen a lot of success so far this weekend. And each of them I know wants to wrap it up with a win and that fifth place trophy. So the Angels from Chicago Holy Family are the eighth seed in the tournament. They come into this game defeating Manuel East Dundee Friday after Friday night, 55-34. They lost to the number one seed, Christ Peoria, 68-36. And they won, eight, they beat, defeated Bethel Morton 52 46 to this game, where the, the Titans from Trinity, Oakville, Trinity, I'm sorry, Nashville, Oakville come to this game after beating Arlington Heights 40 29. They lost to Rockford Lutheran 31 40 and beat Mount Prospect last night 40 20. Um, what, what are some of your keys to the game, Peter? Uh, well, Looking over how the weekend has gone so far for both teams, two very different styles. Uh, Nashville Oakville has won their two games on the defensive end, holding Mount Prospect to 20 points and Arlington Heights to 29, whereas Holy Family has done a lot to go, get up and down, keep the tempo going, and uh, hit 50 in both of their wins. So I think that's a big key. If uh, Holy Family can uh, get out going and uh, get the scoring all game, hit that 50-point mark, they'll be in great shape. If Nashville Oakville can keep them uh, anywhere between 30 and 40, I think they're going to be in a good position to, to take this one right. All right, let's go down to public address announcer Good James morning and Kroll welcome to St. Peter Lions. Arlington Heights and the Lutheran Sports Association's Championship Basketball Tournament. Before we beat the teams, I do have a couple of announcements. First of all, please join me in thanking Concordia University Chicago as they will be providing the live stream for all of our games here at St. Peter today. Again, we'd like to thank our many volunteers that make this tournament happen. And today, for this game, we are once again thanking St. Peter Arlington Heights for making their school and campus available to us. Thank you, St. Peter Saints. The Lutheran Sports Association welcomes you to the Illinois Lutheran State Basketball Tournament. Before we, we begin, we ask that all participants and spectators conduct themselves in a God-pleasing manner before, during, and after this basketball game. Lutheran Sportsman, uh, LSA Sportsmanship Award will be presented this weekend to the school whose behavior of its players, coaches, and fans best demonstrate Christian sportsmanship. We'd also ask today that you don't sit in the front row by not sitting in the front row, it provides the players just a little bit more room and, uh, and provides for their safety, and we appreciate that. This basketball game is going to feature the Titans from uh, Trinity St. John and Emmanuel, located in Nashville and in Oakville, and they will be the visiting team on the scoreboard. It will also feature the Angels from Holy Family Lutheran School in Chicago. Let's meet the starting lineups and players for, first of all, for the visiting team, the Titans from Nashville, Oakville. Wearing number three, Owen Diedrich. Number 14, Miles Taylor. Number 24, Palmer Renkin. Number 32, Jack Schutz. And now the starting lineup, uh, number five, Brock Schiesler. 
Giacomo. And number 25, Gage Giacomo. Thank you so much. And now the starting lineup for the Titans. Number two, Bennett Pinsky. Number 11, Riker Obermeyer. Number 21, Lucas Dunn. Number 31, Evan Keeger. And number 33, Sam Blumhorst. The Titans are coached by Ryan Blumhorst and, ass and assisted by Dustin Diedrich. Now the home team on the scoreboard, the Angels from Chicago Holy Family. Number four, Jalen Stokes. Uh, number five, Juka Witset. Number 13, Rashad Wheat. Number 21, Emmanuel Ladham. Number 35, Jamal Chalmers. Now the starting lineup for the Angels from Chicago Holy Family. Number one, Makai Baker. Number two, Michael Oliver. Number three, Taiwan Hunter. A player I didn't mention is number 32, Dimitri Doby. Number 34, Kamante Shack. And number 40, Romel Von Tries. The Angels are coached by Jamie Lambert and Bruce Daniel. All right, Peter. For the number six seed in the all blue starting for the Titans, number two, Bennett Pinsky, number 11, Riker Obermeyer, 21, Lucas Dunn, 31, Evan Krieger, and 33, Sam Bloomhorst. And for the Angels from Chicago Holy Family in the all-white, number one, Makai Baker, number two, Michael Oliver, three, Taiwan Hunter, 34, Kamanti Shack, and number 40, Romel Van Treese. The Titans in the all, I don't know, navy, black, blue, red, Peter? Uh, they'll be working left to right, and after a year off, are you ready for Championship Sunday, Peter? I've never been more ready in my life, Ryan. Let's get it started. Let, in the words of Black Eyed Peas, let's get started. And here, oh, here we, <laughs> here we go. Uh, the Titans with the ball to start it off. Lucas Dunn, who has been the leading scorer so far in this tournament for the Titans, will bring things around. Titans have done a good job being evenly distributed in the offensive end so far this tournament. Three guys with a high score in the double digits. Here's Dunn with the wide open three off the back of the rim. O offensive rebound. And then another three point attempt. And this one's gonna, another offensive rebound. This one by Sam Bloomhorst. Two offensive rebounds on the first possession. Great start for the Titans. That'll be key. Bloomhorst has been great on the boards all weekend long. Uh, put up 11 yesterday. Uh, Big output from him this morning will be huge for the Titans' success. And then a turnover in the corner, and it goes right back to the Titans. Not the start that Coach Jamie Lambert wanted. Nope, nope, not at all. That guard play is going to be very important for the Angels. The guards have carried them all weekend. They're going to have to do it here this morning as well, Ryan. So again, they're working to Bloom Horse down low. Nice ball reversal. And that zone defense the Angels are sitting in. Yeah, looks like the Titans are going to have a lot of opportunities for open threes if they want to take it. But working inside will probably be more successful for them if they can find gaps. Well, and you saw it on the, on the first possession. They took two three-point two shot at, two three point shot attempts. And great kick out by Bloomhorse there. And got it. The in and out. Inside out for two. Lucas Dunn's first basket of the game. It leads up to four at four to nothing. And that's the shot they're going to have to look for all, all day long there. Getting in post as we see a quick trigger three in and out. Strong offensive rebound by Van Trees. And the Angels will get another chance. 
that's what you'll see out of the Angels. They, they do love to hang out the three-point line. And it shot it's in and out, and strong rebound by Krieger. And, and Tywan Hunter's done a great job attacking the hoop so far this weekend, too. He's got 24 two-pointers made through his first three games here. And then almost stolen away, but a three-point attempt is good. Bennett Pinsky puts the lead up to seven. But as I said, that's, that's three open, open three-point opportunities so far for the Titans. They're going to have to get out of that zone defense, Peter. Yeah, or do better guarding those gray areas between the two, three. They're wide open right now, and the Titans are going to be happy taking those shots. Makai Baker says right back at you, and cuts the lead down to four again at seven to three. And a big game from him will be big for the Angels, too. Um, Hunter and Oliver have done a great job carrying the team so far this weekend, but if Baker can get going, that's going to be even more help. And then a stolen away, and Shaq then gets the ball stolen right back at Dunn's got it. Dunn takes it all the way, hole up, in and out. How did that? How did that not fall? That hit every single part of that rim. Great defense there by Oliver to stay We're gonna have play. a traveling violation there on Hunter. Three early turnovers there for the Angels. They've had one, two possessions where they've gotten shots up out of the five so far. It's not a good percentage uh, to start the game. You know, if I was Coach Ryan Bloomhorse, I mean. I'm happy with every single shot they've taken so far. They've had a, against this zone defense, they've had a lot of really good looks. Yep. And they're looking back inside here. Looks like this possession get another one. The lefty, the southpaw, misses the shot, but Bloomhorse with the offensive rebound gets another offensive rebound. He's going to get fouled. Three offensive rebounds already in the first three minutes of action for Bloomhorse, and he's going to go to the line for two. That foul for the Angels is going to be on number 34, Kamonti Shack. So Bloom Horse aligned for two. But Bloom Horse, you know, him and him and Dunn have been the two leading scorers in the tournament so far. Yep. Missed short on the first. Both of them averaging just a shade under 11 points a game so far. Um, no, Bloom Horse though on the board so far. He's done a great job finding those gaps against the 2-3 zone. Um, and really working his, working his way to uh, find the ball off the rim. Misses both, and the ball finally gets tipped away, and Oliver's pushing. Like I said, Temple will be big for the Angels. Oliver short on the long three. And again, one and done. Three-point temp on the other side by Pinsky. Misses, but gets his own offense rebound. Nice pass to Blue Morris underneath and good. And it's, it's the extra. It's that extra pass. Pinsky fouls a shot. And Blue Morris now with a game-high four points. Bloomhorst is doing some work down there from the right block so far. Nice pass down low, and the basket is good for Van Trees. What a pass by Michael Oliver. And that is what Coach Lambert want, needed for this team to end this run. A great entry. Again, it looks like Nashville Oakville is also playing his own on the defensive end, so attacking that. The uh, Angels have three guys who can drive really well to the hoop as the free throws boarded and almost put back in there by the Angels. Nobody boxed out Shaq, unfortunately, who missed the shot. And the Titans, with the four-point lead, gets the ball stolen away by Hunter, and Hunter wants to take it all the way, the whole in and out. And, but another miss, this one by Baker, and that two point-blank free throws missed there. But the ball will stay with the Angels. Yeah. Great steal there in the open court by Hunter. Then just a little long, a little short, excuse me, on the layup. He's going to get another chance here from two, long two. Long two's no good for Hunter, and when Bloomhorse is boxing out, nobody's getting in front of him. Four rebounds already in this first quarter for Bloomhorse. Well, on his way to a double-double ride. Nice pass to Pin cutting Pinsky in and out. Rebound is good by number 31, Evan Krieger. And another offensive rebound and another basket. 11-5 to five is your score for the with the Titans with the lead. Rebounds are going to be a theme, it appears, this game. Three-point attempt is long but a, a strong offensive rebound by Van Treese. The ball stays with the Angels. Nice take is good by number th three, Taiwan Hunter. Hunter comes in this game averaging 21 points a game in this tournament. I expect we'll see a lot more of that as this game progresses, him driving through and the 2-3 zone. Taken down. Bloomhorse misses the shot, but an, it looks like the ball gets knocked away and it's going to stay here with the Titans. First substitution of the game so far, and this one is going to be number 21, Emmanuel Latum for the Angels. Again, they're 
This one done with the long three. It, Van Trees with the rebound, and the Angels take it. We're gonna have a traveling violation. I think he was caught off guard with how open he was, Peter. Yeah, that was good press or good break off of the missed shot there. Just one too many steps on the layup. So 11 to seven is your score. Titans with the lead and the ball, just under a minute to go in this first quarter. Ooh, almost backcourt violation there. Again, they're doing a great job. And then, as I was saying, then a steal by Taiwan Hunter, and he wants to take it all the way up and good. Now I can see how Taiwan Hunter averages 21 points a game in this tournament, Peter. He's so quick. Defense leads to automatic quick offense there. Four points off of the easy steals. Nice pass wide open low down low for Evan Krieger. And just like that, the lead's back up to four. Great look from Pinsky to Krieger on that possession. Titans are doing a great job getting the ball down to the block. Starting their offense from there. Hunter. Shaq with miss, miss, miss shot. Obermeyer with the rebound. And then Hunter with the steal. Taiwan Hunter with four steals in this first quarter. And almost took down the light there, but what, what a first quarter of play. It, yeah. You think, you know, you've had three games over the weekend, you know, a lot of basketball. And this is the start we were hoping for. I mean, we're on pace that, the, you know, that 50 to 40, you know, in the 40, 50 sort of game. And yeah, it, like like we said, um, we talked about so far this game, rebounding's been a huge key for both sides. Both sides keeping possessions live offensively. Uh, Nash Welkeville's doing a better job on the boards. And uh, Holy Family's doing a better job defensively with being uh, very hands-on on defense, in-your-face pressure, and Taiwan Hunter himself there with those three steals and uh, three easy bucket opportunities the last two laps and the half, and really curb momentum for the Titans. Um, but, I mean, but like you're saying, I mean, this is a complete different, two different styles of, styles of play where Angels are scoring off of turnovers, right? Hunter steals, you know, they're, they're not running doesn't feel like to me they're running a true offense. Where with the Titans, Bloom, the offense a lot of times starts with Bloom Horse. Bloom Horse or Krieger. I mean, they've got eight of the team's 13 points in the, so far in this quarter. So, yeah, they've taken seven shots from that right block so far. So really getting the ball in against that 2-3 zone, letting Bloom Horse work, letting Krieger work, or kicking it back out. Those threes, like we've talked about, have been open so far and will likely continue to be open if Holy Family stays in that 2-3 zone. 11-7 to rebound advantage after the first quarter for the Titans. Second quarter, here we go. Tight, uh, Angels with the ball to start off. Down two. And again, it's been a lot of, and we're going to have a carrying violation by Hunter. Fifth, fifth turnover there for the Angels. The tough part with that, too, is he, the, in my opinion, when they're going to call the carrying violation, it's when they overthink. Like, he, it was a clear palm at that point. Yep. I mean, they do it a lot, but, but again, he, he stopped what he was doing. Yeah, that makes it easy for the ref to call that there, just like you described. Looks like the defensive pressure is starting to, to pick up here a little bit more yes. for the Angels, Peter. Still finds an open open shot from distance that Dunn is able to knock down. Good nice. ball reversal Lucas there. Lucas Dunn now with five points in this game, and the lead's back up to five at 16 to 11. But like you are saying, it was the ball reversal, that extra pass from Overmeyer, and then right on the other side, no extra pass, but Michael Howell Oliver nails the... The long two, and it's back down to 16 and 13. We've talked a lot about Hunter so far this game, but Oliver's been great this weekend so far. He's also averaging over 16 a game, second leading scorer for this Angels team. And right away, another three for Lucas Dunn. Back to back threes, but and the lead is back up to now six at 19 to 13. He's doing a great job, as I talked about, of finding that gray area as we see Oliver get open in the corner from distance a little long. Another offense rebound by Van Vantrese. Vantrese now with a game-high four rebounds. And the ball gets tipped away, stays with the Angels. Vantrese early, though, doing a great job keeping possessions alive. Him and Shaq have both had multiple offensive boards. But how do you beat the zone, Peter? Ball reversal. Ball reversal and finding the weak spots and attacking them. And the ball gets stolen away. And then stolen away right back. And then oh. Hunter with the little runner up, in and out. Solid, solid defense there by Pinsky. Staying in front of Hunter, not giving him an open look, forcing up that tough shot. Again, 
4-12 to go on this opening half. Titans up by six, 19-13. Pinsky with the long two in and out. Another board offensively for Nash And, Volkabil. and we're going to have a foul on the floor, but that's an oh. Evan Krieger's fourth offensive rebound of the game. And it looks like this foul is going to be on number one, Makai Baker. That's his first. Team oh, second. Nice pass poster. underneath from Pinsky to Krieger. Krieger did a great job of asserting position there, finding the space on the block and making for an easy entry and, pass. And we're going to have a, a, a turnover and then a foul on Oliver. Just laziness, right? I mean, that possession alone just was was just lazy. You, you could feel the, mo the momentum right now with the Titans, and what do you do? You dribble into th three yeah, people. And that's the seventh one for the game so far, and I mean... Holy Family's done a great job of scoring when they've been able to take care of the ball for the possession. The turnovers have been the part that have been killing them. Uh, offensively speaking, they are right neck and neck with Oakville shooting percentage-wise. It's just a matter of getting those shots up um, and then getting those second and third opportunities on the offensive end. Uh, Van Trees and Shaq have done a great job so far. Uh, they can continue that. That'll be very helpful. And then they need to keep Nashville Oakville off the boards on the other end, right? Because as we've talked about, Blumhorst and Krieger have been eating in the post <laughs> offensively both you know, in the offense and off of rebounds. So the, so the Titans, here's another fun fact for you. Six assists on nine made baskets, okay? The Angels, one assist on six made baskets. I mean, that's, it's, it's not just the rebounding. It's, it's, I mean, we saw we saw back-to-back -back possessions when Dunn made both those threes. It was that ball reversal yeah. that, I mean, it's just the, I mean, it was the crispness. They're, they're, they're coming out playing. I mean, they're, they're at 21 points and they're still, Three. Four minutes to go in the second quarter. Yep, exactly. We've Done seen. long range. Oh, and he I thought he was, that was, but Blum, Bl Blue Morris whips, rips it out of his hand. Um, Done with a great ball fake there to get open, and Blue Morris again working on those boards. Couldn't finish the shot there, but still, he is attacking every single shot that comes off the rim. Hunter, fr almost from the logo. That was, that was Caitlin Clark territory out there, Peter. <laughs> Pinsky with the wide open three, long on the end. But look who it is, offensive rebound in, by Krieger, and he's going to go to the line. It's the, it's it's not even just, it's the second, it's, it's, it's second, get, third opportunities. Yeah, right, you are. Just even though if the shots aren't falling, like Pinsky's missed the last couple uh, attempts he's had, and Krieger and, and Bluehorse have been right there as Krieger knocks down the first to get the rebound and put it up for a second or third opportunity. So, I mean, those threes are open, and if they're not falling, they're going to get that second chance. And, I mean, Krieger now with seven points. Can't get the second free throw. And, but still, I mean, it's it's been the Krieger show so far in this second quarter. Shot attempt is good by take. Hunter. And I think that's where Holy Family really needs to focus. They need to push, get the rebound first, get a defensive board, and then push tempo up because in transition, Hunter's been unstoppable so far this game. You know, they've only had six players score so far in this tournament, so they're. I, I assume that's why the full court pressure isn't there since they don't go very deep. Nice up and under is no good, but Bloomhorse, offensive rebound, no good. But <laughs> And then Krieger with an offensive rebound. Done with the open three, no good. And look who it is. Krieger again. Finally, after five shot attempts, <laughs> four offensive rebounds, that possession alone for the Titans. They weren't able to complete it. And we're going to have a foul on the floor. And it looks like this one is going to be on Krieger. Nope. That foul on? Actually, that was going to be on, looks like that was on Pinsky. That's going to be Pinsky's first. Three-point attempt for Oliver. Money. It's just what Coach Lambert and the doctor ordered, and somehow, some way, the lead is back down to four at 22 to 18. Quick 5-0 run there for the Angels. And then, and then a, a turnover. Steal by Oliver, and, and then throws the ball right back to Obermeyer and crew. Obermeyer, Pinsky open for three. It doesn't hit it. And but one and done for the first time in quite a while there for the Angels. And Hunter's pushing. We're going to have a Blocking foul, and that, he's, he's okay. It, 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 Hunter's a little shaken up after that one. 
Uh, Obermeyer is going to pick up his first foul. So Hunter to the line for two. Another opportunity out of transition there, right? Holy Fama did a great job of getting the uh, rebound. Uh, so that actually is going to be on Obermeyer's second foul. Converts on the first. Nine points in the game now for Hunter. Right on pace with his tournament average, basically, so far. Uh, as a team, 58% from the free throw line for the Angels. He hits both, and somehow, some way, this game is a two-point game at 22 to 20. Let's see if Nashville Oakville can get a look inside to either Krieger or Blumhorse and kick it back out for an open three. They're trying to get to Krieger in the middle. Krieger with seven There's points. that entry. And the, almost good. good but great look there down to Blumhorse, and he's going to go to the line for two. Good patience on the top there from Pinsky and Dunn to not take, you know, the first shot that came. You know, pass up a good shot for a great shot there. Get Bloomhorse in the post and uh, draw the foul. Go to the line for two. So uh, Jamil Chambers just picked up his first foul. Bloomhorse misses the first. In the tournament so far, 6-4 now, 14 from the free throw line. Um... But Bloomhorse, four points, six rebounds, one assist so far. Make that five points. And the lead is back up to three at 23-20. A minute 26 to go on this first half. I think this is where Holy Family has struggled as we see a good take there. Come up a little short. Holy, and we're going to have uh, travel. Go right back to Holy Family. My thought from before is Holy Family has had much more success offensively when they've been able to get out and transition and run. Once Oakville sets up that 3-2 zone that they've been in for most of the first half, that's when Holy Family's had the turnovers that have you know, plagued them all game so far. So it'll be interesting to see if they can start getting open looks here as we see uh, Baker three. in and out for three. So that, that would have caused the crowd some eruption there in the crowd, somehow tying this game. Um, but it's not. One possession, you know, one shot, one possession though again. Yep. Pinsky gets down to Bloomhorse. Good entry, good move by Bloomhorse. Just couldn't get it to fall there. And Hunter's pushing one on three, one on in and out. I was about to say one on none there. I don't know, not exactly. That good. ball looked like it was dropping from here. Yeah, unfriendly roll there from the rim. Good take by Hunter though. Strong take, way to work it, work it down and get a look even. Krieger, we're gonna have a traveling violation on Krieger. In that situation with Krieger, you know, as the defense was collapsing, what? how did the Titans build that lead? It was that pass out, extra pass to Dunn. I mean, we hit, they hit those two open threes early on. Yep. Keeping the ball moving against the zone, just like you said earlier. Hunter in and out for three. Holy Family keeps knocking on the door here in the late stages of the second quarter. Let's see if Nashville Okaville can extend the lead going into halftime. So 17 seconds left. Good play set up. Dunn open for three in the corner, short. Krieger with the offense rebound, up and good. Evan Krieger is making a living underneath the post for offensive, on the offensive boards. Oliver at the buzzer for three and short. And the first half ends pretty much as it starts. Offensive rebound and basket. And the Titans with a five point lead going into the break, 25 20. Um, Fun first half, fun first half of action for the boys' side of uh, Championship Sunday. You know, uh, five-point game. We should have some fireworks here in the second half. We'll see uh, see how things go. We'll be back in a little bit for some analysis and thoughts uh, on the second half and other games for the rest of the day. Yeah, P uh, just wanted to want to uh, let you guys know a couple things. Fo please follow the LSA on social media. Uh, Ryan Roth four one one on Twitter. Uh, like us on Facebook, Lutheran Sports Association of Illinois. Uh, our website is www.lootsports.org, and our YouTube channel is Loot Sports TV, where all the games will be shown, will be put. Uh, so please, the games you're watching now will be on our YouTube channel after the national tournament on March 20th. Uh, but yeah, so Peter and I will be back here in probably about four minutes with, uh, with the halftime stats and keys to the second half.
All right, welcome back at the half of the fifth, fifth place game here at the 2022 Illinois Grade School State Basketball Championships. The Titans from Nashville, Oakville are currently defeating the Angels of Chicago Holy Family 25 to 20. Leading scorers in that first half for the leading Angel, excuse me, leading Titans is Evan Krieger with nine points. He also has eight rebounds. Also for the Titans is Lucas Dunn with eight points. And then Sam Bloomhorse also, also added 5.7 rebounds. Um, for the Angels, it, it was a lot of Taiwan Hunter. Ten, 10 points for Taiwan Hunter in the first half. Their second leading scorer, My, Michael Oliver, also added in five. But it, it was extremely different pace game pace for both teams in the first half, Peter. You know, where you've got more of a slow down off you know a, a more offense based team um, versus a team that wants to get up and down you know run and gun yeah uh, two very different tempos and we've seen both of them used uh, successfully as the game's gone on holy family has done a great job when they've had opportunities to get out and run off of uh, defensive rebounds or steals they've been very successful and almost all their points have come off of those opportunities Whereas on the other side of things, as you brought up, Nashville Oakville has done a great job working the ball around offensively against the zone, finding post entries to Blumhorst and Krieger, and either kicking it back out or using ball reversals to get those open threes in those gray areas against the 2-3. Um, like we saw Lucas Dunn knock down back-to-back -back threes to start that second quarter. Look for more of that as the game goes on. I think really the keys to this is Nashville Oakville being patient offensively, and limiting running opportunities for Holy Family. And on the other side of things, Holy Family potentially you know, kicking the pressure up because we saw Taiwan Hunter had three, three or four steals in that first half and uh, looking to find opportunities to run in transition here in these no, next two quarters. Other key stats the first half, 24 to 13 rebounding advantage for the, the Titans. If the Titans are going to win that game, it's going to be, that's going to be your main story is the domination from start to finish on the rebounding end. And then assists. Six to one assist, assist ratio for the Titans, which is, which is giving the Titans the number six seed a 25-20 lead as we begin the third quarter. Yep, that's another big key. It's gonna be the battle of the boards here as we move forward in the third quarter of our fifth place game here on Championship Sunday. For those just tuning in, Titans in the all darkish uniforms. Nice pass. Right away from number 31, Krieger, to number 33, Bloomhorse. And that is the start Coach Oben Obermeyer wanted. Yeah, you know, just like we talked about, great ball movement there from the Titans. Krieger, you know, post touch from the, the guards. Doesn't have a look, takes it back out to Blumhorse for that elbow jumper, picture perfect. There is a little confusion with, the, with who the foul is on. There is no number 34 for the Titans. It's actually going to be on number 31, Krieger. So Krieger's first, team first. Let's see if Holy Family can finally figure out this half-court offense. Hunter with the long three, can't get it. Nice hustle there by, uh, by Chambers. But one and done, and the ball goes right back to the Titans. So far, a lot of what we saw in the first half is still consistent moving forward at early stages of this third quarter. Nashville Oakville, great ball moving offensively and great you know, half-court defense. Dimmying or stymieing. Uh, Bloomhorse, we're going to have a foul on, on the steal attempt by number three, Hunter. Looks like those guards have decided to pick up the intensity on the top of that 2-3 zone. See if that is something they continue to, to work moving forward. And they get it down low to Bloomhorse. Who gets some butter popcorn down underneath the basket. And we're going to have a jump ball, possession arrow, Angels. Five players touched the basketball there, I think, before anyone was able to uh, gain possession. If Bloomhorse was able to gather that, he was quadruple teamed there. Three point attempt in the corner is good by number two, Michael Oliver. And somehow, some way, the lead is back down to four at 27 23. Oliver's second three of this game. Great pass cross court from Hunter to Oliver there for that big three to get Holy Family on the board here in the third. 
just like in the first in and out, but Bloom Horse offense, a rebound and basket good. I was going to say, that's what we saw in the first half with that extra pass to Dunn, who that shot looked like it was falling. No. Both, the, both those were really uh, what we saw in the first half as Nash Wilkeville has the ball back. Um, you know, that extra pass and then the offensive board again. Work. Obermeyer trying to get it get around it. Pinsky open for three in the corner off the back of the rim. Ch Chambers is able to gather it. Excuse me, Chalmers is able to gather it. And here, Holy Family's out running. Good Ol look. Oliver with the three-point attempt is no good. Obermeyer now with five rebounds. 29-23 is your score. Just under four minutes to go in this third quarter. And then a steal by Hunter, and Hunter's pushing. Holy Family's definitely turned up the pressure on Hunter defense. takes it one on four, and we're going to have a foul on Hunter on the rebound. And double-digit rebound is now for Evan Krieger in this game. So Hunter just picks, picks up his second foul. Unfortunately for Hunter, they're, they're gonna, they'll make that call every time after the missed shot attempt. Yep, you are right there. Know exactly what he was looking for, that jump ball, but ref saw arm first, and that's what he called. Something's going on with Bloom Horse. I wonder if there, he's got some blood, because it's the first substitution in the game for the Titans as Palmer Rankin checks in. Yeah, definitely uh, decreases the size on the court for Dunn the Titans. Done wide open for three at the top. And now with, with Blue Morris on the bench, the, the Angels need a push. And that is not pushing. Yeah. Nice oh, layup sorry. and good for Bennett Pinsky who takes it all the way. And the lead's back up to eight now at 31-23. And I've said it many times, Peter, but one and done for the Angels. Yeah, Speaking yeah. of done, done, done with the defensive rebound. A great take by Pinsky as we see that pass tipped out of bounds in favor of the Titans. We're going to have a timeout oh. here by Coach Lambert. Um, Pinsky gave Holy Family a taste of their own medicine there on that last possession. You know, with the Kyrie layout, under, uh, the, yeah. teardrop layup. Oh, just outran them, you know, and the... Uh, Fast break and like you said, Kyrie layup to the uh, to the hoop for two. And but the first half has I mean excuse me, the third quarter is exactly what we saw in the first half. Right. Yes. You you've got Angels want to push, but they're only able to really get one long three point shot attempt, almost on every possession. Yeah. Um, most and most of their shot attempts aren't are not high percentage. No, it's either uh, a three or settling for a three in the, the half-court offense. Uh, Hunter and Oliver both want to get to the rim, and the Titans have done a great job defensively of collapsing in that 3-2 zone, and there's two or three sets of hands in front of whoever has the ball going to the hoop so far this second half. Hunter and Oliver have not had open looks, like you said, at the rim at all this game. So Titans inbound the ball underneath their own basket. Bloom Horse, who had the injury, just checks in, and then a steal by Shaq. And they really need Hunter to go, get going. So you like, can find a driving lane here. Hunter takes it right on the zone, up and good. And Taiwan, Taiwan Hunter's 12th point of the game. And here comes that pressure we were talking about, uh, you know, potentially seeing if Holy Family turned it up in the third quarter, a little uh, full court man to man. Looks like they've switched to a man-to-man -man defense uh, in the half court as well, Rye. See if that can uh, get some steals against this tight offense. Well, unfortunately, with the zone, the zone is not stopping them from you know getting rebounds because the Titans are dominant. So at this point now, you might as well start picking up the pressure around the perimeter. Yeah. Try and create turnovers. And uh, Bennett Pinsky again. Bennett Pinsky doesn't care what defense Holy Family's putting out there. He's uh, almost traveled by Hunter. Gets out to Oliver, who drilled. Beautiful stroke by Oliver. I swear that one kissed the ceiling on the way up. That was a great kick out by Hunter, though, to find Oliver sitting open in the corner there for the three. And wow. Oliver now with 11 points. And it, still a five-point game ride. It's hard to believe. <laughs> so nobody really in foul trouble on, on either side. Um, at this at this stage of the game, and then it's steal by Hunter, and Hunter is going to take it all the way. And 
somehow that rolls in. And a quick 5-0 run. And the lead's back down to three at 33 to 30. This, oh, and Dunn gets knocked, knocked off his knee and it's gonna go right back to the Angels. What a change. Coach Lambert calling that timeout, switching his defense to a full court man has really changed the complexion of this third quarter. Holy Family feels like they have the momentum again now. Hunter works it to Oliver in the corner. The teardrop and again. Another one. It, in, my, in the words of my friend Stuart Scott, he's in fuego. That's three for four from deep, and we're gonna have a travel, and, and it's all angels right now. What a turn of events here these last two minutes, Ryan. So Oliver and Hunter combining for 28 of the 33 angels points, and it's 33-33 with just under a minute to go in this third quarter. Including all the points in the second half so far. Correct me if I'm wrong. And we're gonna have a carry on Hunter. The, prob the problem what Taiwan keeps to is when, when he thinks of when, when he slows it down, when he brings it up, and, and again, he gets caught trying to figure out what he wants to do. That's when he's going to get whistled for the carrying violation there. That moment of hesitation, just what you're talking about. All right. Big, big possession here for Nashville Oakville. They need to get a shot up and a good and shot. And we're going to have a we're going to have a blocking foul there on Michael Oliver. So uh, when I said with foul trouble, Oliver, Hunter, and Shaq all have two, and then Obermeyer has two for the Titans. So with that in mind, we should see a lot of this uh, high intensity pressure moving through the fourth quarter as Holy Family has fouls to give. Okay. I'd like to see more oh, possession. Nice pass. pass from Blue Morris. No good, but offensive rebound and good by Krieger. That is just what the doctor ordered, right? Well, I mean, it was it was a great pass from Bloom Horse to Krieger. He missed the first one, but got his offensive rebound and put it back up. And as, he's going to as the team has been all game. <laughs> so Chalmers now just picked up his second. Krieger converts on the free throw. Krieger now with 12 points on the for the game to go along with 12 rebounds and leads back up to three at 33-36. Hunter with the soft takes it all the way to the hole. Wow, someone's got to step in there on defense. Hunter finds a gap and just attacks it relentlessly. He's done a great job in this third quarter. Three seconds left, they need to get a shot off. Dunn and Oliver all over, Dunn at the... Just, just wow. What a third quarter of action, Peter. This, uh, we talked about first half, you know, Michael Oliver and Taiwan Hunter combined of average 30, eight points between the two of them, and we saw that in full force there in the third quarter. Michael Oliver from the outside, draining three triples, and uh, Taiwan Hunter from the rim. We talked about, you know, midway through the third even, um, Nashville Okavo had been doing a great job of putting multiple people in between whoever was driving for a Holy Family and the rim. Hands in their face, you know, no clear shot at the rim. Um, Taiwan Hunter flipped a script that end of that quarter there. He had two or three great drives with um, no one in front of him did a great job weaving through the defense and uh, finished on those layups. And that really turned the tide there. That and that full court man-to-man -man change on defense. As you're seeing, they it's almost like they flipped a switch. Uh, <laughs> as soon as that defense changed from a zone to a man-to-man, -man, I feel like the entire complexion of this game turned on its head. And it'll be really interesting this fourth quarter to see if Nashville Oakville can, you know, maintain their composure, keep patience on the offensive side, because as we saw with that possession um, where, where Krieger got the aimed one there right at the end of the quarter, if they're patient and can take care of the ball, they're still going to get good looks against this pressure. Titans with the ball to start the fourth quarter. Oliver is going to get whistled out. The ref was giving him the benefit of the doubt there for a minute. Um, but it was... That, there's your first first player with a little bit of foul trouble. Oliver now with three fouls. Got to be smart to not pick up that fourth right away either. Obermeyer smartly. Nice pass from Ober, Obermeyer to a cutting Krieger. Obermeyer now, no points, but five rebounds, three assists. And that last assist was a key one as a, to a cutting Krieger. Hunter with the long three. Oh, just as I was saying, Obermeyer with a strong rebound. Great glue guy stat line, if you were dry. 
doing all the little things to help Nashville Oakville keep this three-point lead. Oliver knocks it away. Nice pass to a wide open Pinsky up and good. What a pass from Bloomhorse to Pinsky. I don't think we have appreciated Sam Bloomhorse passing ability so far this game. His last two passes to Krieger to end the third and there to Pinsky have been wonderful. Hunter with the soft kiss off the glass. Hunter now with a game high 18 points. And again, back and forth, back and forth we go. Looks like Holy Family switching up to uh, pick up a half court. We're going to see a, a ball screen and five on four here. Let's see if the Titans can take advantage. Pinsky with the long two, no good. Finally, Oliver jumps for that one, and Oliver's running. And Oliver in and out. Finally, and we're going to have a traveling violation as Baker tries to grab the rebound. I thought that shot, Peter, I thought that shot was dropping again. Yeah, I mean, that's a great look based on how Oliver has been shooting the second half. He was open, same area that he's knocked down three so far in these uh, in the last 12 minutes of the game. Not a, not a bad shot if you're Coach Jamie Lambert. Oh. Nobody, Dunn gets the ball knocked away and it's gonna stay here, 4.18 to go in the fourth quarter. Dunn did a great job there of reading that screen getting around Shaq, who was trying to hedge there and uh, taking it to the hoop. Hunter has been, nice pass, wide open underneath the basket, basket again is Krieger. What a finish by Krieger there. I think that shot got blocked a little bit and he was able to get through the contact. Hunter miss on the three. Pinsky and crew are gonna slow things down. All right, looks like Coach Lambert's calling pressure again. Obermeyer down to Krieger. The lefty has been so good, so good. 18 points now in the game for Krieger. Holy Family has no answer so far today for Evan Krieger. Hunter gets too far underneath the, the basket and we're gonna have a, a full timeout for Coach Obermeyer and the Titans, but. Evan Krieger with 18 points and 12 rebounds has been has been the story so far today. Yeah, he has been the you know most important player on the court so far with all those offensive boards in the first half to keep possessions alive uh, and keep Nashville Oakville in the driver's seat. And here in the second half, doing a great job finishing at the rim. Uh, you know, great passes from his team. He's doing a wonderful job of finding the gaps in this pressure defense that Holy Family is putting on. Um, and mainly yeah, finishing those shots. And that's been the key so far as uh, Nashville has been able to extend this lead again up to seven with the ball here with three and a half to go in the fourth. So 337 is your, is your score. Titans on top. And the, the Angels just, Angels need to calm down, they, you know. Yeah, yeah, go back to what was successful in that third quarter. Keeping the pressure up trying to force turnovers, and then you know, running in transition before Nashville Oakville can set up their defense. That's where they got all their points, basically, in that third quarter, and that's what they're going to need to do to cut into the seven-point gap as we move closer to the end of this game. So Titans with the ball in the lead, 3.31 to go on this in this fourth quarter. We're going to have a foul on Oliver. So Oliver just picked up his fourth foul, team six. So Titans in bonus the rest of the way. Well, change offensively, it seems Nashville Oakville has really started to push for that high ball screen you know, off the inbound, and it's done a great job of uh, alleviating pressure on the ball handler, mainly Dunn here. Dunn short on, the, short on the shot, and the ball will roll out of bounds. It goes back to the Angels. Coach Lamb, hey, you got to be happy with that. Um, one, and, one and done opportunity for the Titans. Now Angels need a basket. And it, I'm guessing it's going to be either Hunter or Oliver making that basket with how this game's gone, Peter. You'd be correct. Taiwan Hunter's first three of the game, and the lead is down to four now. That was a really lucky guess, Peter, with how, and then a steal, and here's Hunter all the way up and good. It started with the Makai Baker steal, and the lead... <laughs> It's back down to two at 44-42. Holy Family is so quick because we're going to see a foul there on That's the floor. On shit. Oh, Chalmers. Chalmers, excuse me. Um, to that point, Holy Family's you know, runs to close this deficit have been so quick because it's you know a made shot 
into a turnover, forced off a steal off this pressure. I mean, that was a 5-0 run in the span of five seconds, basically. So, Obermeyer is going to the free throw line for a 1-1. One one. Three for four so far in this tournament. Off the back, but nobody box out Krieger. And it rolls back to Obermeyer. I'm so shocked to hear Evan Krieger on the boards again there, Rye. Haven't said his name at all today, I feel like. Dunn, who's been quiet since those two threes in the second quarter. Obermeyer takes it all the way in and out, but nobody boxes out Krieger. And Oliver's pushing. Oliver, we're gonna have a block. We're gonna have a a player control foul, and that is five on Oliver. That is a very big loss for Holy Family for these last two minutes of play. Tough, tough call in that situation. And for how well Oliver played in this game. Yeah, no, it's uh, definitely going to be a loss for Holy Family for how much Mike Oliver has carried the load, you know, this weekend and so far in this game from outside especially. We'll see how Coach Lambert can adjust and uh, put his team in a position to still have a chance to win this game. So I mean, Oliver finished his game with 14 points, two rebounds, and one assist. And that's... When, you, when you're this... When offensively, the, the two players combined for 38 of the team's 48 points so far this tournament. In this game, they're at 37 of 42 points of this tournament. I mean, of this game, that's a big loss. Yeah. Huge. So but Emmanuel Laddam checks in the game for the Angels. But Taiwan Hunter is still on the court, so Holy Family still has you know an offensive threat whenever he has the ball in his hand. Eight to one foul discrepancy right now in this fourth quarter. No, Dunn takes a little all the way, no good. The shot attempt is no good by Krieger and Blue Morris with the rebound, and he's gonna go to the free throw line. Three chances at the hoop for the Titans. And this is gonna be key here, is free throws going down the stretch. Nashville Cavill's shooting 62% from the tournament coming into the, today. They're gonna need to knock these down. Converts on the first. Bloomhorse now with 10 points in the game to go along with nine rebounds. Hits both shots, and the lead's back up to four at 46-42. Combined hit stats with Kriegers, and that's the story of the game so far for Nashville Oakville. 36-18 uh, rebound description, and Hunter in and out. And we're going to have a timeout, Obermeyer. That was a... Good look off a screen there for Hunter. Had, had it halfway down. Uh, you know, nothing to complain about there offensively. That's really what they've been working to look for so far in the second half. If it's not open at the hoop, they're going to you know settle for the three, and it was open. Just didn't fall. So 1.28 to go in the fourth quarter. Angels, excuse me, Titans with the ball. To, to reset, Michael Oliver, the second leading scorer for the Angels, fouled out with 14 points. Angels with, at Titans with double bonus the rest of the way. And we're going to have, I th think the Angels have one timeout left. Possession arrow is Angels. Uh, and, and to be honest, Peter, I think we're going to have some free throw shoot, shoot, shooting while uh, free throw attempts as we, get, as we go down the wire here. I would expect that to be the case, either intentionally or unintentionally, because I do believe, <laughs> you know, Holy Family is going to be out full court pressure here uh, for the next 90 seconds. and. They're going to be looking to get a steal. So we'd like to give a shout out to all of our viewers at home. Um, we, we've got viewers from Texas and Wisconsin, the home of the, the Big Ten champion Badgers. 124 to go in the fourth quarter. The full court pressure on the Angels. Dunn is able to get past it. 118. I'd probably get the ball in Bloomhorse Bloomhorse hands in this situation. And Tunter steals it. Tunner wants to take it one on two, up and good, and the basket is good. And to quote Peter, when Oliver fell, 
fouled out. They still have Hunter. They still have Hunter, Peter. And he did a great job there. I don't think Bloomhorst, you know, saw him behind his right shoulder after he dribbled. Was able to, you know, pick his pocket and take it coast to coast and draw the foul. But it's key three-point play. Hunter makes it, makes it. No, and actually he went over the line. So the free throw is no good. So 46-44 is still your score. Don't need, you know, to foul right away. It's a one possession game. Dunn's got, Dunn's got to be smart. And Hunter with the steal. And Hunter takes it right at Obermeyer. Up and oh. good. Is that a replay of the last possession or what? <laughs> you know, only if we would have instant replay with us because we'd go back to a replay, a side-by-side. Kind of like, you know, there was a side-by-side -side with North Carolina getting the yeah. three-point shot, at, you know, by uh, Villanova and then Miami the following year. You remember that side-by-side, -side, Peter? Can't recall that one, right? <laughs> so Obermeyer picks up his third. Hunter to the line with a quick four points. Hunter misses another free and the ball gets knocked away and Dunn steps out of bounds and it's gonna stay with the Angels. And now Coach Lambert wants a timeout. But hole in the world, in the, in the land of Chicago Cubs, Peter, holy cow. Holy cow, what? what? I don't know how we're, how we're tied, I mean. I, honestly, Taiwan Hunter's defense really is what has brought us to this point. Hunter basically. with 27 points in the game. And seven steals? It's six or seven at least. Uh, but, you know, let's roll back to you know, a minute and a half of game time ago. Oliver fouls out. Nashville Oakville's got a two possession lead. Everything's, you know, coming up Titans at that point. And Taiwan Hunter said, not today. Not today. Not today, Peter. So. To, to, to reset, 46-46 is your score. 42.2 seconds to go. Angel second best player, Oliver on the bench with five fouls now. It's, this fourth quarter has been a little and a lot of Taiwan Hunter as he has all 11 of the team's 11 points in the fourth quarter. I wonder where the ball's going on this uh, possession, right? Uh, we're almost, Dunn's gotta be careful. He's going to get Dunn. pressured and likely double teamed, but we're going to have a foul on the floor by Dunn. Dunn might have fouled him in three different places there. Good defense. I mean, Dunn. It, that's Dunn's first foul, um, and you know they're in, they're actually excuse me second foul. They still have three more fouls until bonus. So, so do yeah, you, do you, you really you play aggressive just like they did that possession. Not quite like that. You want to you know make him work a little bit offensively, but. You can be aggressive on the defensive end. You have fouls to give. As long as it's not in the act of shooting, that's a, what you do not want if you're in Asheville Oakville here. Okay, so, two, so 19 fouls to five, 33 seconds to go. Again, they're getting the ball to Hunter and looks, I think they, they look like they want to hold for one shot here. Hunt, just as I say that, Hunter with the three and Hunter's got the three. And Ty Juan Hunter this, with a 30 spot. This, not 29, not 31, 30, Peter. This might be one of the uh, more impressive performances we've seen on Championship Sunday, you know, if, if not in the last few years, if ever. Um, especially, basically willing his team back to take the lead here in the fourth quarter. Ty Juan Hunter with 14 fourth quarter points. And that was actually, puts the team on top, 49-46, but what a performance by Ty Juan Hunter. And that's a personal 7-0 run after Michael Oliver fouled out of the game, if I, uh, I'm doing my math correctly. So on the other side of things here, if you're Coach Blumhorst and uh, in this timeout, I'd say you're looking to, you know, scheme up a play to get Lucas done open for three, or you can go for a quick two, but you're going to have to foul twice to get him to the free throw line, to your holy family free throw line. So if the quick two is there, take it. If not, work for a good look on three. You have offensive rebounders. You've been able to do that all game. They got Pinsky's able to bring it up. 
Hunter's still all over Dunn. And they're trying to set up a shot for Dunn. Dunn with the open three on the corner. He in and out. But board. rebound and basket is good. Sam Bloomers. Oh, my. And that's exactly why that three is an okay look there for Oakville. Um, you got two guys that have just dominated the boards all game, and Blumhorst is able to fight through contact. Trying to need a, a tied shoe there. I don't know if the ref is trying to ice the uh, ice free throw shooter here, Rye. <laughs> what, what an offensive rebound put back by Blumhorst. That fourth foul was on Shaq. Needs to make this free throw, though. Bluehorse nice. drills the free throw. Wow, wow. Five seconds to go. Here's Hunter. What's Hunter, 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 got? Hunter with the three at the top of the key at the buzzer. No good. And we have some overtime. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, my, Lanta. We are uh, really making up for that lack of uh, that lost time last year, Rye. A little extra time added here to the end of today's fifth place game. Yeah, you know. It, it, wow, what, 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 what a 20 seconds there. Hunter, with ice in his veins, drills a three at the top of the key. Gives him 30 for the game. And on the other side, Hunter all over Dunn. They set up the, the, the play for Dunn on the... On, on the baseline, misses the shot. Bloomhorse, with his 10th rebound in the game, puts it back and then hits the free throw. Wow. 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 Couldn't ask for a better start to today, Ryan. And I think we'll be in for a, a solid ending still. You know, these last three minutes are going to be highly competitive, as we saw the last two minutes of regulation be. All right, 49-49 is your score. Get a little, little, little fun overtime here. So some foul trouble for the Angels with Shaq with four fouls uh, and Oliver on the bench with his fifth foul. But here's the tip as we start overtime and it gets nobody. Baker takes it all the way and good. Michael Baker. Puts the Angels on top, 51-49. I don't think the Titans re realize what side they're going to, Peter. I don't either. That's Makai's first shot attempt since the first quarter. Is where and he good! Riker Obermeyer's first basket of the game it is a big one. And it ties the score again at 51. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth we go. Strong take there by Obermeyer. As he drew the foul on Baker, looks like. Obermeyer's been everywhere so far this game. We haven't even talked about him a lot in the scoring column, but like you mentioned earlier, great on the boards, great as facilitating his team, and now puts his team back up by one. Obermeyer, Obermeyer's first three points of the game, and it puts him back on top, 52-51, 2.34 to go in overtime. Back-to-back back big free throws hit by Nashville Oakville there in end of regulation in OT. Hunter with the three, can't get it. Chalmers is able to grab the offensive rebound, and he tips it back. Hunter is able to save it. And we're going to have a timeout, Jamie Lambert. Great play there by Chalmers to keep the ball alive. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, that was a, that, that was a ping pong action back and forth. I mean, he knows I mean, his guards are out there. When you love your table tennis, too. I mean, we're in the Olympic season. We're actually still going out with the Winter Paralympics here on our, uh, our broadcast affiliate from Comcast. Uh, <laughs> NBC. NBC. Um, wow. 52-51 is your score. Angels with the ball. And thankfully, Makai Baker ended the uh, the Taiwan Hunter run uh, who, when not a single Angels player had scored since the two-minute mark in the third quarter other than Taiwan Hunter. More, more shocking, that was the first uh, Angel who not named uh, Michael Oliver or Taiwan Hunter to attempt a field goal in the second half. Um, and one for one. So big shot by Makai Baker. Like I said, hadn't taken a shot since the first quarter to you know nail the first one off of the tip and then... Even bigger, the answer by Obermeyer with the A and one. Uh, if I'm Holy Family here off this timeout, you know, I think Taiwan Hunter has been you know, taking those threes as the defense has been giving it to him here late in fourth and, and start OT. Start going back to attacking the hoop. He's had a lot of success this second half at the rim, and I think he needs to focus on that these last two minutes. Gonna get it into Hunter. 
Ball screen here to start the offense will be helpful too. I Krieger think. all over Hunter. Looks like a 1 3 1 here from Nashville Oakville. Hunter, lock, got it. Locks Boom and goes Taiwan Hunter. And the lead is back up to two at 54 52. <laughs> Holy cow. Taiwan now with 33 points. And then done with the run on the other side. Can't get it. Offense rebound. No good by Krieger. And Bloomers with the offense can't get it. And the ball gets tipped away. And done with the save. Oh my gosh. This possession's been a microcosm of the whole game. Obermeyer with the runner. Finally, nothing. Four chances there for the Titans. Hunter takes it one on six up and oh my, Ty Wan is just dynamite right now. Have they ever awarded a tournament MVP to the uh, fifth or sixth place team? Right? And done and the basket is good. I spoke too soon. What is going on? Hardly a chance for me to uh, ask a question in between possessions here in overtime. So Makai Baker just picked up his third foul. Another big free throw here. Dunn Nashville has done a great job so far. Dunn hits the free throw. Cool, calm, collected from the line so far. Late game for the Titans. Five straight made free throws for the Titans. No need to attack for Holy Family here. And we're going to have a carrying violation on Hunter. So 56-55, one, just under one minute to go on this overtime period. Double bonus for the, the Titans. Latham, oh, we're going to have a foul on Latham. And we're going to have some free throws, Peter. It's going to send Pinsky to the line for two. On the run, double bonus. And I have you know, mentioned the last three attempts they've been at the line. Nothing, nothing but onions, basically, you know. And fourth in the overtime. See if they can keep it up. And again, Pinsky converts on the first. Pinsky now with 10 points. This is another big one. Pinsky, ice in his veins with two free throws and puts the Titans back up one at 57 56. And then Hunter takes it all the way, coast to coast. Hunter with seven points in this fourth quarter. It's, it's, it's one on five right now we're watching. Dunn takes it right at Baker, up and good! <laughs> Luke is done with five points in this quarter. 59-58, Hunter with the ball, 32 seconds to go. Hunter with the runner, up and in and out. Bloomers is able to get, get the rebound. Uh, Holy Family's gonna foul here. And they finally get up to Bloomers, and we're gonna time out. I don't know how Hunter shot didn't drop, Peter. <laughs> the way he's been shooting his second half in overtime, I don't know either. Strong board there by or, or by Blumhorst, excuse me, to uh, secure possession for the Titans. Up one with 20 seconds to go. Hunter with 37 points in this game. I mean, talk about the finish he had there to take the lead back and then Lucas Dunn just puts his head down gets to the rim and finishes you know a, a contested layup there to, to take the lead back for the Titans I mean it's just been punch after punch it's like a you know heavyweight prize fight right now this overtime has been well we had a big fight last night with Jorge Masvidal and uh, Colby uh, Peter you're a big uh, MMA fan Big MMA guy, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I had no idea there was a UFC fight last night until you mentioned it. Colby on, Covington, yeah. thank you very much. Uh, 21 seconds to go in the fourth in this overtime. But yes, You're, as I assume that fight went, this has been punch for punch this entire overtime kick period. Kick for kick. Kick for kick. Strong hold. I mean, that. so 21, they're trying to get in right away, and I think they're, they're going to foul Dunn. So Baker now has got four. Lucas Dunn. Important thing to note is, you know, being a one-point game, even two free throws doesn't put this out of reach yet. Dunn knocks both these down, still one possession, and Hunter has knocked down three triples in the fourth quarter in overtime. So he's more than capable of tying this up. Still, these are big free throws. Dunn, swish. 
Eight, nine straight made free throws for the Titans. And that is how you win, you know, championship Sunday games. Championship? Championship. Championship. Dunn makes both 10 straight free throws. 61-58 your score. And I'm guessing we're going to see some Hunter right here. Gonna go to the hoop or? Hunter is going to work. We're going to have a timeout, Lambert. Ooh. Hunter. And actually, if I was Coach Obermeyer, I would foul Hunter in this situation. They're not in bonus yet. Huh. You know there is a 100,000% chance that Hunter's going to take the shot here. No, it's a rule of thumb. Are you a foul up three kind of person, Ryan? At this level, 1,000%. At any level. I feel like it's it's almost always the – if you're the better rebounding team, which I feel like Nashville Oakville has proven so far this game, they're the stronger rebounding team, it's a minimal, minimal chance that the Holy Family is able to miss the second free throw, get the board, and put it back. Uh, it's a, it's 43 to 20 in rebounds in this game, Peter. Further proving my point. So I do agree with you, especially since you have one to give. You can burn some clock as well, you know, if you time it right. So, so I think you're right, though. I think the play here is you're gonna you're you're gonna you're gonna make a quick foul, or at least wait a, wait wait three seconds and then foul. Don't let the ball go in Hunter's hands. And they're not they're not doing the quick foul like I said. They're gonna let yeah, triple team him. Hunter and they foul him shooting three. Well, when we were talking about fouling, that's not uh, what the doctor would have ordered for the foul. Uh, big, big free throws coming up here now. It's 5.8 seconds to go, Ryan. So Dunn picks up his fourth foul. You got, you got to let him just get out of his way. I mean, he's, he's literally quadruple teamed. Yeah, contested, but you know, don't give the ref any reason to blow the whistle there. Hunter back on the first. So in this situation, make this one. And then you can attempt to miss the second one. Yes. I think there's uh, no real other formula that he can tie this game up at this point besides that. Hunter converts on. We got a ch substitution with Laddam checking to the, back into the game. Oh, as, as number 13, Rashad Weed had previously checked in. Must have been during the timeout. So 5.8 seconds to go. Hunter's got to miss this one on purpose. You would, yeah, I would definitely think that's the plan here. No, and we're gonna have a line. Early. That that was fun though. He he had it. It was close. So one team has has made ten, excuse me, nine straight free throws, and the other team in fourth quarter in overtime is one for four. Excuse me, one for five. From, and that's the difference at this point. Yep, little things like that add up in games like this you know and the margin of error is so slim you're you know two point game here through overtime uh like you said three free throws can be the difference and it looks like they are they currently are right now on the scoreboard so to quote the fans sitting next to me they need a steal here quick but if, if you're not gonna see you gotta you got a quick foul here yeah. Definitely can't let much, if any, time come off the clock. If you don't get the steal right off the inbounds, it's got to be foul immediately and extend this game as long as you can. It's interesting that you're having done inbound the ball. And that you're going to have to foul quick. And there's your foul. So 4.4 seconds to go. And Evan Krieger who up until the Hunter's, the Hunter second half was your game's player of the game, Peter. I mean, even there, you know, sitting there in the fourth quarter. I know you've been keeping track of rebounds over there, Rye. Is, uh, is Krieger up to a 2020 game yet? Uh, neither. Uh, Krieger with 18 points, 15 rebounds. I'm sorry. Not too far off. Still still an impressive stat line, nonetheless. So two huge free throws for Krieger. Could basically ice the game if he knocks down both. Two, two for four now from the free throw line. 
And that was the announcer's jinx. It hadn't, it hadn't really affected them the uh, previous nine attempts. <laughs> Finally comes through there with four seconds to go. So Rashad Wheat. And we're gonna have a timeout again. This one by Jamie Lambert. So I think it's, they're gonna draw up a play. If the shot, if they can't convert on the shot, I think, I don't know if you know him, but uh, I think he put the ball in Taiwan Hunter's hands, Peter. Eh. Yeah, he's only got what, 30, 39 now through the game? 38. 38. 38. I, I, think he, I think he put the ball in Hunter's hands. See what happens? I mean, either way, I assume a three is gonna be coming from Holy Family. I don't know, with four seconds, how far down the court you can get. You're gonna wanna try, you know, get as deep as possible. But, you know, first and foremost, they need the rebound off a miss. And off a, off a make, you need to have a good inbounds pass. And it's just gotta be quick feet from there and get as good a look as you can. So the, tit the Titans are, are allowing him to have the rebound. So 4.4 seconds, Krieger gets one more, makes the free throw. So now they're able to set up in the full court. Four seconds to go, here's Hunter. Three seconds left, Hunter needs it. Hunter going up for two and makes it at the buzzer, but they're down by three. Well then. Uh, Peter, Peter for once in his life, uh, it's speechless with that finish, but Hunter down three, goes in for two. And that's your final. Oh my gosh, what Nashville Oakville is your fifth place 2022 Illinois at the Illinois State Championships, but fifth place finish, wow. And they, they earned 62-61 is your score. They earned fifth place, and credit to Holy Family that it's tough that someone had to lose that game, Ryan. Back and At forth, this time, how competitive would you it was. Once again, please what a game to start us off for the boys' side of the championship Sunday. Game. The Angels from Chicago Holy Family entered the tournament with a record of eight wins and zero losses. They were the champions of the Lutheran School League of Chicago and the Lutheran School League tournament. Today they go home the sixth place winner here at State. Congratulations. <laughs> the Trinity St. John from Nashville and Emmanuel Oakville Titans entered the tournament with a record of 22 and 6. They were the champions of the Tamora Invitational Tournament and the Region 15 of the SIJHSAA Regional. And today they go home in fifth place. Congratulations. So final stats, 62 to 61 is your score. Nashville, Oakville with the win. Leading scorers for the victorious Titans, Evan Krieger with 19 points, 16 rebounds. Sam Bloomhorse, excuse me, Lucas Dunn with 15 points. Sam Bloomhorse with 14 points, 12 rebounds. Bennett Pinsky with 11 points, six rebounds, four assists. And Riker Obermeyer, three points, eight rebounds, four assists. So it was Oh, mainly just the five stars with scoring. And in defeat, the Angels, oh, oh my, Taiwan Hunter, 40 points, four rebounds, three assists. Oh, Ty, uh, Michael Oliver, in def, in, even after picking the fifth foul, had 14 points in the game. Makai Bike Baker had five, and Romel Van Trees added in four. But wow, if all of our games are like that today, Peter, we are going to need some slate. some tea tonight. <laughs> oh my goodness! But uh, we'll be back here in just uh, give or take 15, 20 minutes with uh, our third place girls game. So what a great finish! And we'll see you guys in a little bit.